Hello, this is Alex Eames from raspi.tv. This is the Syntec GPIO paddleboard. It's a breakout board for the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, it's a nice small square board and it's probably about half the size of the Raspberry Pi itself. Let's put one there, you can see, yeah, it's about half the size of the Raspberry Pi itself and it's designed to connect to the GPIO header using a ribbon cable and they provide a nice multicolored rainbow ribbon cable which is 20 centimeters long. Each of the GPIO ports on the Raspberry Pi's main header connected by the ribbon cable is broken out to one of these paddle connectors and the way you connect a wire to these is quite straightforward. You have to press down the orange tab here and push your wire in until it goes all the way to the bottom then release the tab and you can see that the tab doesn't go all the way back up there's a spring loaded contact in there which holds the wire firmly and I'll prove that by picking it up You see, so that's quite an elegant and relatively safe way of making your connections I think it's a great idea the ribbon cable is keyed so you can't put it on the wrong way around which is great so let's connect that up now so that's the one end, the other end goes on the Raspberry Pi and there you go. Let's zoom out and have a look at the whole thing. Here's what the whole thing looks like when it's connected. As you can see you've got a decent length of ribbon cable there which means that your electronics doesn't necessarily have to be right next to the Pi. Let's have a look at the labelling. So as you can see, the GPIO only ports like 24 and 25 are named for just after the numbers. The alternative function ports like GPIO 18, which also has a PWM function, are named with their alternative functions. So 14 and 15 are the UARTs. Those are named just with their UART function, not with 14 and 15 as well. I think what I would like to see is perhaps a sticker, maybe, marked, uh, sold with it as an optional extra that you can put on here, right next to the holes where you stick the wires, so that there would be no possibility of any confusion that that's, that's a 5 volt connector there, that's another 5 volt, that's ground. So if you happen to be looking from that direction, for example, with parallax error, you, from, from this particular angle that we're at, that looks like ground. But in actual fact, that's the one which is ground. So unless you're right on top of it, you have to be very careful. I think you could make it even more foolproof if you put labels here as well. It's great to have it on the silk screen. It would also be nice to have both the GPIO numbers and the alternative function numbers. But overall I think it's a very nice product and uh, I haven't seen anything quite like this with these connectors before. I think it's, it's a really good idea and they're selling for a pretty reasonable price. I think they're retailing at, at $5.99. If you'd like to subscribe to the Raspberry TV YouTube channel when the video finishes click on the I and click subscribe. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.